uh, years of, of friendship and collaboration. So when he tells you, hey, this is, this is an idea that um, has occurred to me, what was your response? Well, I mean, at first you say, good, Steve. But then, <laughs> you hear the details. It was a fabulous, I mean, it was a fabulous idea for a show. And then um, you start hearing about the pedigree of names involved in, in writing. And you say, of course, of course. Why would you be a fool about it? Now, I want to ask both John and Martin about the fact that there was at one point, um, I think when Steve originally had this idea, the, the, the kind of next step was there was going to be three males. So how then did we get to the point to use John's uh, terminology from a prior interview that an alien should be introduced into the mix, somebody completely foreign to these two gentlemen of, of uh, a few years old. That's it, and we were very much thinking um, uh, along the lines of like, okay, this is a this is a great idea. We have amazing actors here, um, but then the idea of like, okay, how do we turn it? Which is what Marty and Steve have been doing our whole careers, turn it into something more unexpected and comedically potent. And I thought something uh, to unsettle them and to make it feel like I don't I don't know how to deal with this person. Uh, we began to start thinking on that. It was actually Dan Fogelman's idea that we should look um, to someone along the lines of Selena Gomez. And that was another most faithful meeting when Selena sparked to talking to us about it. And we had a great Zoom. A great great Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> now, Selena, when you get on, when you hear about this for the first time, uh, the prospect of doing your, your first TV series since you were seven to eleven, I guess, in Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh, here, were you immediately intrigued, or were you looking already for for something to kind of shape things up? Just how what was going on in your life when you were about? Um, it was actually a lovely surprise. I think I had constantly been looking for something in that space, but music had been something that I really loved, and that kind of became a priority for a while. And then, of course, I had really amazing opportunities presented to me where I could kind of play the same character I could play in my whole life. So I, I wasn't necessarily attracted to that. And then when I found out about this, when I had the meeting, I felt really connected to the character right away. I kind of felt like I was able um, in a lot of ways. And I just think that she's so much fun to play, and I really enjoyed it. And once I found out who they were, I was really happy. Follows <laughs> 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 when you say you you relate to her. You are. This is not like a, a talking point. You are truly an active, true crime aficionado, right? I mean, yes. conventions. I've been, and, yeah, crime con for sure. <laughs> 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 I just grew up around it. I don't know the idea behind the psychology of it all is fascinating and the crime solving part. So, yeah, it was kind of fun. It was a match. Well, she first told us that she had been a crime con. I immediately wanted to make a documentary of that moment. <laughs> <laughs> all the crime hunters going, what are you doing here? Well, nobody knew. It was great. <laughs> so, this is a, a question for Martin on behalf of you and Steve, and then Selena. When the idea was shared with you or present, however it was first arose that uh, this trio might come together, how familiar were you each with each other's prior work? Well, again, Selena, you know, made a horrible faux pas when she met Steve. Mm. Uh, she said to him, oh, big fan, Angela Lansbury. <laughs> 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 no, it was, um, 